There's nothing like Drag Week. It's a true test of man and machine, and I think patience and lack of sleep. It's just like the old days, and you see the guys are traveling across the country and what they took with them on their car, strapped on the trunk, on the roof. There's nothing like the torture test it puts your body through, it puts your nerves through, you're constantly worried as you're driving down the road that you're going to break. This is where the test of the fastest streetcar in America is uh, decided. <laughs> This is the biggest drag week ever, 177 cars. Let's get to racing. Run it! Drag Week is a deal where we take a bunch of cars that are really too radical to be on the street and we put them on the street. We do five drag strips in five days, a minimum of a thousand miles. You have to drive your car between the racetracks. You are not allowed to put the car on a trailer and take it. This has to be a streetable car. That means headlights, that means windshield wipers, a horn, and so on. And the whole objective is to see who has the fastest street legal car in the U.S., so that's what we do. Hot Rod's been involved in fastest street car racing since the early 90s, and we had a bunch of events, but really nothing proved that the cars were streetable. And then some guys came up with events called True Street, where the cars had to drive 30 miles, and okay, almost anything can drive 30 miles. We wanted to come up with the most hardcore test anywhere of what's really streetable and really fast. 